high cellos in these next two videos we are going to be working on writing our D string notes on the staff. So the first thing that we need is a piece of paper and something to write with. And then we need to know what the staff is. The staff is the five lines and four spaces that we put all of our music on. That's where our notes live. That's where we get other information we need to know about the music that we're playing. So the staff is really important. So the very first thing that we're going to draw is our staff. Like I said, it's just five long lines. And once you draw those lines, you'll end up with four spaces. I drew mine nice and big so you can see it easily in the video here. But you can make yours a little bit smaller. So go ahead and draw your five lines, your four spaces of the staff. The next thing that we need to practice drawing that we see in all of our music tells us where our notes live on the staff. So we use what is called the bass clef as cello players. The bass clef has another name called F clef, and I'll show you why. Um, it has some landmarks that tell us where the note F lives on the staff. So we need to make sure that we're finding the exact right place to put the clef or else we're going to have the wrong notes. So when we count the lines and spaces of our staff, we always start from the bottom. So line one, two, three, four, five, and space one, two, three, four. For our bass clef, it is all about line four. So not the top line, the next one down. And the first thing that we're going to do on line four is put a dot, a nice big one, and then, starting from that dot, we're going to draw half of a heart, like the right half of a heart. It's going to touch the top line, come down, and touch the bottom line. So make sure you've got that much of your base clef. And then the next thing that we're going to do, this fourth line here, that's our F line. The note F lives on that line. That's why we call it F clef. We're going to put two more dots, one in the space above the F line and one in the space below the F line. So now we have our staff and our base clef. In the next video, we are going to add on the notes that we can play on the D string. See you in the next one.